you're probably watching this video for different reasons um you're probably someone who is currently studying psychology and you're about to graduate and you're like oh my gosh what am i gonna do with this degree what can i do or you're probably someone who's maybe thinking about switching majors considering psychology as a major you're not sure if that's what you want to do and what you can actually do with this degree at a bachelor's level or you're probably someone who's just interested in the field of psychology you're just curious as to what someone can do with this degree either way i'm glad that you're here and this video is for you so keep on watching Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about five different careers or jobs that you can do with a bachelor's degree in psychology. So I am currently a graduate student. I'm currently studying counseling psychology at the graduate level. Um, and I, when I was an undergrad, I studied psychology and social work. So I have my bachelor's in both psychology and social work and I also have a minor in communications. So these are some things that I was definitely considering and thinking about before I decided to go straight into grad school. So one of the things that I love most about psychology is that there's so much flexibility and versatility in what you can actually do. And that's what makes this career path so interesting. Some people study psychology and then they end up doing something completely different. So that's completely up to you. I do want to put a couple of disclaimers out there for this particular video. So there are many mental health related positions that do require a graduate degree, at least at the master's level. So when you're kind of listening to these, please be sure to keep that in mind. And that's specifically mental health related to like counseling, therapy, um, things in that kind of realm. Also keep in mind that salaries do vary state to state when you're looking at these types of jobs as well as requirements for your state especially when it comes down to licensure so let's get right on into these jobs so the first job that you can do with a bachelor's degree in psychology is become a case manager so a case manager literally does what the name says they manage a certain caseload of clients and manage their different needs so this can look like being in communication with different providers, offering different resources, helping people fill out different applications. So supporting in different application processes are going to look different for each setting that you're in and like what specific case management role that you're taking on. So that can look like helping someone apply for different benefits, um, helping them with finances, or even housing. Those are just a couple of things. So going back to the setting and population that you would be working with in a case management role that could look like children and families that could look like working with those who are experiencing addiction or substance abuse it really depends on that setting i interned at a rape crisis counseling center um, so i definitely saw the inner workings of what goes into a case management role my supervisor was a case manager so i definitely got to see what goes into this role i can definitely attest to the fact that time management is essential you are managing such a great caseload of clients and they all have different needs different deadlines for applications and you really need to be able to support them and be able to do your research and know what's going on within your local area so the second job that you can do with a bachelor's degree in psychology is becoming a child care worker this can look like supervising and monitoring kids organizing different activities or just documenting their progress and development depending on the age that they're in so for preschoolers you can really be helping them get those creative juices flowing through different activities and play and games and fostering some of that growth and development as they're preparing to enter into kindergarten. Some settings can include working in before or after care school programs such as like a YMCA or a Head Start that might be in your local area or even a child care center or family child care. 
So child development classes and lifespan development courses are going to be really important for you if this is a route that you want to go in. So be sure to get those electives on your transcript and take those courses while you are completing your undergrad degree. If you do want to get some experience in this field and you don't have your bachelor's degree yet, with a high school diploma you can also work as a teacher's assistant and get some experience in the setting and field, see how you like it. But more pay and responsibility responsibility and those leadership positions would come with a bachelor's degree. The third career path job that you can get with a bachelor's degree in psychology is becoming an ABA therapist. So ABA stands for Applied Behavioral Analysis. I do also want to put another disclaimer that a lot of ABA jobs can require a master's level degree depending on the setting and what they're looking for, but there are a lot of entry level positions as well that you can get into ABA with a bachelor's degree in psychology. So ABA is a type of behavioral therapy. It's really evidence-based and it, this is um, a type of treatment that we often see when people are working with those who are experiencing autism spectrum disorder or other developmental disabilities and it really works on forming different skills like speech ability for example so ABA therapists can work in a wide range of different settings so hospitals schools residential facilities government agencies so I'm just gonna look down at my notes really quick I know that there are a couple of certifications that are required so the board certified behavioral analyst that's BCBA and BCABA which is a board certified assistant behavioral analyst so to be able to practice on your own as an ABA therapist you would definitely need to get a master's level degree and with a master's level degree you can lean into different roles such as a clinical director a supervisor or even a coordinator the fourth job that you can get with a bachelor's degree in psychology is becoming a research assistant. A research assistant is a great way to get right into the field of psychology, especially if you like kind of that back end work of research. If you really like more of the hands on work, such as clinical work, um, maybe research might not be for you, but if you definitely enjoy research and the entire process, this could definitely be something that would work for you. So research assistants can also be called program technicians, program coordinators, research technicians. So if you're looking up these different jobs online, just be sure to kind of use the different wording. So a research assistant really does the day-to-day -day inner working of putting a research project together. This can look like collecting observations, recruiting volunteers and participants, doing literature research on the topic that your project is in, preparing for an IRB application. And I also want to mention here a research or a data analyst is also quite similar except they work more so on the data entry and what that looks like. So making sure all of the data is managed and entered properly, doing reports, things like that. Classes in undergrad that could be really important for someone who wants to go down this path is definitely clinical research as well as statistics, especially with the data entry. You need to know how to manage the data and actually draw conclusions on whether something is statistically significant. Statistics is really essential. And if you're still studying psychology um, and you're in your undergrad career and you still have some time, if there is a class that you can take where you can do your own independent research project jump on that if you are interested in becoming a research assistant that would look really great on your resume and you could definitely have a lot of experience to draw from as you're going down that career path so the fifth and final job that I have for you guys is a high school level psychology teacher. So one way to do this is that you could double major in both psychology and education in your undergraduate career. You would definitely need some teaching experience and a certification from your state to be able to become a high school level teacher. And with teaching psychology, this can usually look like in high school, teaching an AP level psychology course or something that can be offered as an elective. So some classes that you might want to take while you're still in college would be maybe cognitive psychology, social psychology, social cultural psychology, something of that sort, as well as developmental psychology. 
And for the length of this video, I only got into five of the jobs and career paths that you can take with a bachelor's degree in psychology, but there are so many more. Let me list a few. So some other jobs could be customer service, social workers, intake coordinators, administrative assistants, residential counselors, and so much more. There also is another option and route that I personally took, which is just going straight into your graduate career. If you know that there's another path that you wanna take or another area of psychology that you're really interested in. So for me, I'm definitely interested in the more clinical work, such as counseling and therapy, and that's why I just decided to go right in. But these are also some great options while you're still maybe figuring out whether or not you wanna pursue a master's degree, or if you're just trying to figure out what works best for you and your style and maybe psychology isn't the right career path for you and you want to pursue something different um it's okay to try things it's okay to not like things just because you got your degree in something doesn't mean that's the end all be all some people even go on to pursue like a master's degree in business administration completely up to you it's your life don't be afraid to try new things and really follow your passions and what you want to do in this world so with all that being said that concludes this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment comment and subscribe if you like this video and are looking for more psychology related tips. My channel is all about advice, my lifestyle, um, fashion, and food. If y'all know me, y'all know I like some food. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram at as told by Brandy, on Twitter at as told by Brandy, and on TikTok at as told by Brandy.